It is so cold in this apartment that I just can't. I just can't, oh my god. <laughs> Apparently the lady thought that one plus degrees Celsius outside is f***ing summer, so she just turned off our heat. So, uh, I'm not happy about it. Welcome back, guys. Yes, so I will be like wrapping up in this blanket because I'm freezing and it's so cold. I already complained about it. Anyway. So in today's video, I will finally be talking about tattoo aftercare and the way that I heal my tattoos because I thought it will be pretty appropriate since I have a healing tattoo right here. Da -da 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 -da. You probably saw my previous vlog where I got this tattoo. It is now the fifth day officially of me having this tattoo and finally some scabs are starting to fall off and I can't wait for them to be gone, to be honest. So some of the things I'll be reading off my phone because I kind of wrote them down and I don't want to like misinterpret some things because yeah, I want to be precise as possible. A disclaimer that there will always be a controversy of the ways that people heal, heal their tattoos. The way that I heal my tattoos, we will get to that point, but it's just something that I have found like suitable for me and it works for me so i'm not saying that things that work for me work for others and i'm not saying that it's the 100 percent right way we all find our own ways to heal tattoos or do other stuff you know and uh since i have a couple tattoos i would say <laughs> i have tried alkalines of healing and aftercare products for tattoos so i kind of think i have a valid opinion on this for everyone there's always a different way of healing their tattoos using different products and stuff like that so that's just a disclaimer okay so we can finally get into the video the first type of a uh, aftercare let's say first type of healing would be the traditional one or the recommended one which usually uh tattoo artists recommend for you after getting a tattoo like the recommended aftercare can maybe vary a bit from artist to artist but the overall spectrum <laughs> overall thought of healing the tattoo is kind of the same this uh, is the type of aftercare and healing that all of the people who have tattoos have tried and probably are doing right now uh, and it is uh that you just get the tattoo, they get it wrapped for you, then you take it off after a couple of hours and then you wash your tattoo with antibacterial soap and from there you just wash your hand two to three times a day. Why did I say hand? I mean tattoo, but because my hand is healing, I said hand. So you wash your tattoo one to three, th th <laughs> one to three times a day and then you also put on some sort of aftercare uh, balm or, or cream on your tattoo to kind of make it heal better or make it like moisturized and stuff and you put it on also three to five times a day which is a lot and I've tried all of that and uh, I tried different kinds of balms as well. When I got my first tattoo, I listened to my tattoo artist, I did everything he told me to do. Uh, and of course, the tattoo healed just fine, just great. So the cream that I was using when I got my first tattoo is Bepanthen. I don't know if you have it where you are, but it's just a cream that in Latvia a lot of tattoo artists can recommend. I personally hate it. I hate it so much because it's very thick and it kind of is very sticky and it's used for also yeah like dry skin condition things. It's not really a, a aftercare like tattoo aftercare product, like 100%. You can buy it at a drugstore. It's very, very thick and I just didn't like it. Uh, but I kept using it for quite a while until I discovered a cocoa butter. It's not like the cocoa butter that is like literal cocoa butter, which you can also use because it's like, if it's natural and stuff like that and it moisturizes your skin and you feel great about it, then sure, do it. You can also buy it at a tattoo shop. Uh, we have it here in Riga. I'm gonna throw a picture of it up here if I'm gonna find it. But I did try it out once and I really liked it. But it's somewhat expensive or I'm just a cheap ass girl. Overall, so you just keep kind of uh, washing and, and, and moisturizing your tattoo three, three to five times a day until it's completely healed. Which is a period of time over like a week or two weeks or something, I don't know it's different for everybody that's the first type of healing uh, i've tried it uh and it's not for me really uh but of course you should follow uh, the instructions your tattoo artist tells you to do 
because you should trust him and if you are a person that has a lot of tattoos and has been through the process like a million times you already know kind of what helps you the best and like what what suits you and your healing processes so yeah <laughs> i don't know what i wanted to say with that but anyway the second type of aftercare or healing is called dry healing, which is the method that I'm using right now. And I, I know a lot of people are kind of controversial about this one because it works for somebody, it doesn't work for someone else. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm not telling you to do it like this is the best thing ever. Dry healing is when uh, you heal your tattoo uh, almost the same way as the tattoo artist recommends you, except you don't pour loads of lotion or cream on it. So for me, it was kind of uh, irritating that I had to like lotion it like 20 times a day. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but anyway, so, uh, and it didn't feel good. It didn't feel right. I don't know why, but my skin was like oily and it was weird and it didn't feel like my, tat like my tattoo or my skin kind of wanted it. And so I kind of thought about this on my own, but then I researched it and I found that a lot of people are doing this, that uh, you just, yeah, you just don't uh, touch your tattoo with any kind of cream. You put only cream or some lotion on if you feel that you need it. Like for example, right now, I feel like it's itchy and maybe a bit tight, so then I put some lotion on it. I don't just pour it on whenever, you know? And uh, it kind of makes sense because think about it. When you cut your finger or get or get a scratch or something, at first you put like a uh, a bandaid on it uh, just to stop the blood like flowing everywhere if there is any, and then you just leave it to heal and it kind of forms a scab and it does its own thing. You don't kind of dazzle it with lotion, which kind of feels natural to me. So that's how I heal my tattoos. Uh, some will say it's bad for your tattoo or whatever, but I've seen how my like skin reacts to it and my tattoos heal way faster rather than if I keep kind of uh, pouring, why do, I, why do I keep like exaggerating everything? If I keep kind of putting lotion, a lot of lotion on it. So um, yeah, right now it's really dry. It probably needs a little bit of moisturizing, but uh, yeah, so that's how I do it because also the scabs form faster your skin is not uh, constantly moisturized. So I think when your skin is moisturized, for a scab, it's a bit harder to form. So for me personally, uh, when I dry heal my tattoos, it happens a lot faster. And also you're not that bothered. So it's a lot easier as well. Uh, but yeah, still, you should take care of your tattoo. I still, I still wash it. I still kind of take care of it. I don't pressure it. <laughs> so that's, one method. Maybe some of you have tried it, you like it, some of you have tried it, you don't like it, but for me personally, this is what works the best. So, uh, the third type of healing or aftercare, which right now is kind of pretty new and modern, and maybe some of you have heard about it, is the Dermalize Pro Film. That's one of the films that I know about. Maybe there's another one. It is a self-adhesive film that is put in over the tattoo right after it is done and you keep it on for 24 to 36 hours. So it's kind of the see-through cling film that you kind of put on your tattoo and it just stays there and it, it protects the tattoo from friction, from it, it is waterproof and it protects it from uh, bacteria, so it's antibacterial and it all sounds kind of great. A lot of people maybe have tried it and love it, uh, but it's thought that it makes your healing way faster, like maybe faster than dry healing or, or traditional healing. And I've heard people getting their tattoos completely healed over the period of eight days, which is very fast. Um, I did try it once, uh, maybe not the best part where I should have tried it was my inner arm when I got the bat on my inner arm. Uh, Emil uh, asked me if I want to try it, We, I was like yeah sure because I thought if that is something that would work for me I would be so happy because it feels also like you don't have to think about much, you don't have to kind of wash it right after you come home. You don't have to lotion it, you don't have to do anything with it. It just, the, the film stays on your arm for about two days. I know that when you take it off, you don't have to do anything with your tattoo. You don't have to lotion it. You maybe can wash it if there has been any excess uh, kind of goo going on. And 
supposedly it won't even form a scab so somehow your tattoo will be magically healed um i kind of don't fully understand the thing the whole process maybe i should have looked into it a little bit more why didn't it work for me first of all it was kind of irritating to have it uh uh, well, of course, the inner arm is a very sensitive area, so it was probably not the best place to get it uh, and to put the cling film. I would have tried it maybe somewhere on my hand or somewhere where it's not that irritate irritated uh, because uh, that tattoo was pretty painful. Maybe I'm going to try it again somewhere in the future, but right now I'm kind of avoiding it <laughs> and just sticking to my dry healing. It was fine for the first 24 hours because I was like, well, okay, it's there. Uh, but then it started feeling weird and I really, want, really wanted to take it off. It was like an annoying sticker on my arm. I hated it. I'm not saying that others are going to say the same. A lot of people probably love it, but for me personally, I didn't. And when I tried to take it off, it was so goddamn hard to take it off. Whew. I only understood it now that I should have tried it to take it off in the shower with like warm water It would have come off easily because that's what they re recommended. I was struggling so much. I oh, I hated it It wasn't coming off. It was painful like the tattoo is still painful and the glue from the cling film was left on the tattoo like in some places and the glue is very very sticky i kind of managed to get it off with a lot of pain and almost crying like this very stretchy type of material so it doesn't come off like a sticker it just like stretches and it's just not coming off and afterwards i was left with like these little parts of glue on my arm so my arm started sticking to my clothing and that was annoying as hell and i tried to take the glue off also in the ways of not damaging my tattoo because like if i would have tried to scratch it off of course i would have damaged my tattoo so i tried to put coconut oil on it to try and try and kind of take away the the glue but it didn't kind of help so I ended up walking a few days with glue on my hands and it was annoying as hell. So I had these three types of aftercare and healing for your tattoos in mind. Maybe there are some other methods out there, but these are the three that I know about and that I, I have tried and I have opinions on. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. This is the end of the video. I really hope you liked it because it was one of the most recommended videos I have had lately. So I hope you liked it and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!